In this video, I'm gonna be showing you an AI automation that uses AI to send out compelling high quality emails to your newsletter on complete autopilot. It will literally take you five to 10 minutes to set up. You can either use this yourself or you can actually sell it to clients for thousands of dollars. It's gonna be valuable nonetheless. And we actually use Meg.com, which is completely free to build it on. And it's gonna be a step-by-step -step video. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we've got a video on how to build an AI email newsletter automation that is gonna be able to create high quality emails that you can send to your list or whoever you want to send emails to in a matter of seconds on complete autopilot you're going to absolutely love this just make sure you watch the next 10 minutes so you understand exactly how to build it i'm going to be walking you through it step by step so it is fairly easy just make sure to watch the next 10 minutes so you understand it so let me just explain why this is unique to other automations that can send emails so essentially there are three different routes that this email automation can go down we have the first one so if i wanted to create an email newsletter around the latest AI news or the latest AI softwares, all I have to do is click here, type in the word news and just click run. And you can see that it's going to go down this route in which it's going to do a perplexity, deep research analysis of the latest AI news. And it's going to be able to use obviously ChatGPT in terms of the latest ChatGPT 4.5 to actually create an email. And if you keep watching, I'll actually explain how you can get it to actually send the email for free, which is a bit of a cheat code. So yeah, it's gonna get exciting. But likewise, if I wanted to create an email around stoicism or mindset, a completely different topic, all I'd have to do is just do the same thing, but type stoicism or whatever I want the keyword to be. And it's gonna go down here and it's gonna create an email around stoicism based on great quotes and stuff like that. Um, so obviously it can do YouTube videos into email newsletters as well. That's another part to this, but you're gonna learn a lot and I'm gonna condense it into just 10 minutes. So you're definitely gonna get value out of it. So once this loads, I'll show you what the output is. Okay, so perfect. As you can see, it has just generated the output. So if we take a look at this, it's gonna load in here in literally two seconds. There we go. So it's got an amazing subject line. So this AI tool saves hours and I just discovered it. That is really compelling and it builds curiosity for the viewer to actually click on the email. So really solid, as I said, it's high quality. So the goal of this email newsletter is to send out a weekly one every Friday, just going over the latest AI news. Um, so it's got, yeah, one here called Smart Lead. It's got telly.ai and yeah, it obviously gives links as well to actually try it. So yeah, super easy. And let me explain how you can actually build this um, in a matter of five, 10 minutes. So what you're gonna do is obviously head over to make.com, which is how we build these automations. If you're wondering why, it's just because you don't have to put your card info in. So you can literally stay on the free plan for as long as you want. So click login. And the, th the thing you're gonna do is click on create a new scenario at the top right. So yeah, create a new scenario. I'll try and keep this raw just because I can't be bothered to edit it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're gonna do is click on tools. And this is just so we can have different options to send different types of emails. So we're gonna do a set variable. So it is this one, and you can just call this um, something like filter and leave it blank for now. So perfect, you've just done one module and there's only a handful of modules to do. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a router. So this is just gonna allow us to go in different routes. Pretty simple, that's why it's called a router. And up here, we're going to add the first thing, which is going to be, if we look at this one, it's perplexity. So the reason we're doing this is because we want it to do deep research around whatever topic you want. So if we just search for perplexity, and you can see it is this one, create a chat completion. Now you will need to get your perplexity API key. It's actually really easy. If you just go over to Google perplexity, just like that, click on the top link, and we just use it because it has really good deep research capabilities. And obviously if you just go down here and you click on this little yeah, settings. So once you load up perplexity, you should just be able to go into settings and then click on API and you should just be able to connect your API key. But there's, yeah, honestly a lot of videos showing you how to do that. So it's pretty straightforward. Once you do add your API key, it will look something like this. For the model, you can obviously select Sonar Deep Research, which is obviously the one that we want. Then you're gonna click on just this add item. So below messages and for the content, what I've done is I've actually created really good prompts. So I'll probably put this in the description so you can have this prompt. But essentially what I actually did earlier, which is a bit of a hack to be honest, is ask AI to create me the best prompt. And it says, act as a researcher, compiling a weekly update for online entrepreneurs and agency owners, find the most valuable new AI tools. So software updates, features launched in the past seven days, and it's got what to focus on. And this is just giving 
the yeah prompt to perplexity so it knows what type of research to do for our email so you can see that you could pause this and read it in your own time um, but we can just copy this in and yeah put it into the one that we're building from scratch but i'll put this in the description so you can use this as well um, but yeah that's obviously a good enough prompt to know what perplexity should be doing deep re research on and for the role i believe you can just do to be honest i don't think it matters if we just check here we did user so just do user um, and it should be as simple as that. You can put max tokens if you want to keep a limit on how much you want to spend. Um, but to be honest, I don't think it will use that much. So let's just click save. So just like that, you've now created a way of doing research around topics that you can use for emails. So now we're going to click on plus, And this is where we need to basically prompt AI to be able to create the actual email. So this is a really important part. So don't you know, skip over this. What you can use is something like Claude. So Anthropic is a great one claude is really good for creative tasks if you want to use that and it's very similar you can just choose the llm so large language model of your choice it doesn't really matter too much just like perplexity is an llm you could use OpenAI, which is obviously you know chat gpt you can use claude you could use you know a handful of other ones um it's really up to you there's no right or wrong answer in this case we're just going to use open ai because so many people are familiar with it you know a lot more than claude so it's a lot easier to you know just to use and we're going to click on creative completion. Once you do that, you obviously need to connect to your OpenAI account. It is pretty easy. If you just go to OpenAI, I'll try and show you where it is right here. So OpenAI, so if we click on this, so it's um, this exact URL you need to find. And then once you do that, you just log in, get your API key, and then just connect it in the same way that you did for perplexity. Um, so once you do that, you can just select the model that you want. Obviously, this is the newest one. So you can select that you can do for the prompt this is the most important part and once again i'll add this prompt in the description just to give you the most amount of free value as i can on this channel so yeah this is the prompt that we are rocking with right here so if we give it a second this is a really really strong prompt by the way like you're gonna be surprised so we, we we've told ChatGPT that you're helping me write a weekly email newsletter that goes out every friday my audience the goal of the email the tone of the email format so we want it to be a one to three minute read and it's obviously got the topics to talk about which is the result of the perplexity deep research so hopefully that makes sense we're giving the uh, chat gpt the deep research output so it knows what to write the emails about and once again we can just copy this just like you can copy it from the you know, description and you can paste it in right here and once you do that just click save obviously if you want to put max tokens you can do that just like what i said earlier but let's just leave it as it is. As you can see, it has successfully created an output using the deep research, which is amazing. And from this point on, it's really up to you where you want to deploy the actual copy. So do you want to put it into Google Docs first to check it, proofread it, and then put it into you know, your email sending platform, whether that's ConvertKit or Instantly.ai or maybe MailChimp. Those are some amazing, yeah, just email softwares, um, which is what I'd recommend if you're a beginner. So if you want to do that, you can just very easily click on Google Docs and it is the insert a paragraph to a document and you would just select where you want to put it into in terms of the document so you can just have it as like this email newsletter one and you would just have it as the result right so once you do that it is essentially going to deploy the newsletter into a Google document. And the reason I would recommend this if you're a beginner is because first of all, you can proofread it and you can you know, see if it's good. You can, maybe you can make some tweaks and it is 90% automated at that point. And if you do wanna go the full way, which is what I'm gonna show you right now in terms of actually sending it as an email without you checking it, you can do that. However, I would just recommend checking it before sending it just because, um, yeah, I think if you can get an automation to 90% automated that is great people want to do 100 percent of everything but i think 90 percent is the sweet spot um but yeah if you want to do this straight into an email you can just very easily click on gmail and you can have it as send an email now what you will need to do is add a few different modules before this because for example if you want to add a recipient you obviously need to map that meaning you need to have a google sheets that it can see all of the email subscribers and then you would essentially put that as a field in here so it can send it to all of them um so and just make sure you connect your email domain uh to make.com which is really easy you can click on this and it's actually a bit of an online guide it, it explains how to do it so you will need a domain i think but it's not too complex but once you do connect your domain yeah you need to add a google sheet so you can actually have the recipients um so click add a module 
Google Sheets, search rows, and then your job is just to put all of your email subscribers into a Google Sheets and then make sure it's selected right here. So just make sure, um, yeah, it is the right spreadsheet. Put a limit if you want to send an email to, I don't know, 50 people or 500 or 5,000. You can put a limit right here for that. Um, but that's essentially the just overview of how you would um, add a recipient if you want to send it directly. So that's what it will look like. And in terms of the subject and content, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'll try and explain this in like 30 seconds as easy, as easy as I can. But essentially how it works is this ChatGPT module creates a single output, meaning it just has the whole like output in one go, which isn't ideal because we need to have the subject line and the content separately, right? That just makes sense considering um, we need to separate it. So how you would do that is by doing something called passing it through JSON. So if you click on this ChatGPT module, what you can do is actually click on show advanced settings. So if you click on show advanced settings down here, you can see that it now gives you the response format. So by nature, it will look like text. That's what it will show for you. But you, what you want to do is click on JSON because now it's gonna pass it as a JSON response instead of as a text response. And it is, as, it is as simple as just clicking save once you do that. And then it should, if you run it, you can essentially then select the subject and the content separately. It'll give you those fields to map, if that makes sense. I don't wanna try and confuse you too much because I wanna move on on how you would do other things. Um, but that is just the process of how you would go about it. Um, you may need to add a little bit extra in this prompt saying something like this. So you wanna say, do not include any extra text before or after the JSON. The output should follow this structure where you say the subject line and you, you know, it'll put the subject line there and then it'll put the email body, which is the email body here. Um, but once again, I'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Um, but this is just in case you wanted to send directly to an email. Um, but once again, there are other options for this. You can use like MailChimp. So MailChimp, if you uh, search for it, it's just an email, um, yeah, an email one. And I haven't used MailChimp before. I use ConvertKit, which is slightly harder to do. And this is why I'd recommend you just put the output into a Google document because then you can just upload it manually and it takes like five seconds. Um, but if you want to go the extra mile, you can sort of figure out how to um, yeah, add it to, uh, what's it called, MailChimp or something like that. So yeah, I can't imagine it to be too confusing. Um, so maybe it's perform a, ca a campaign action. I assume that's what it is. Or create a campaign is probably the obvious one. So we can just put the um, output. You'd obviously need to connect that um, and so forth. But that is essentially the principle of how you would send it out, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. Now, going back to my original one, which is here, if you want to do like a YouTube long form into a email newsletter, that is actually a lot easier. So I won't actually build it on here because I can just explain it here in like 30 seconds. But essentially we want to search rows. So if you have your latest YouTube video here as yeah, I do, you can see, and you essentially just select that as the um, correct field. So you can see that I've got the spreadsheet, which is the same one as this. And I essentially, um, yeah, I mean, that's all you really need. And then we use dumpling.ai, which is a transcript. So a YouTube transcript generator. So you can see here that it's got the URL, which is column A. So column A, there's the URL. And yeah, it basically is as simple as that. So that allows us to get the transcript from my latest YouTube video. And then, which is pretty simple to yeah explain, we just have a prompt saying, you're helping me write an email that goes out every time I post a YouTube video. Your job is to make the reader click on the video. So follow the example framework below. Subject line, yeah, as an example, this is just an example kind of email, if that makes sense, that we've given it. And we've given it the transcript right here. So that's mainly the, the key parts. And then once again, if you want to put that output into a Google Docs, you can do that compared to an email, as I showed you before. Um, and then this is just another one where it's a very simple prompt to you know, straight away into a Google Docs. So this could just be about anything. So as I said, this one is just like a motivational email one. So if you want to post three emails per week, this is the use case for it, if that makes sense. So one email could be a YouTube long form into, a, uh, into an email. Another one could be deep research on the latest AI tools. And then another one could be like motivation, just because you wouldn't want the same emails getting sent out every week, right? That'd be boring. So that is essentially the, the concept behind it. So this is a very simple prompt. Um, but now you may be wondering, Charlie, how do you get it to go 
in the direction of whatever you want to post. So if I want to post one on news, I can just type it in there and it'll go down news. Or if I want to make one on my latest YouTube video and I don't want to have to, you know, type out what my latest YouTube video is about to my list, um, all you need to do is set up filters. Filters, so easy. You just basically click here um, and just to show you what this would look like on a blank. So you click on this little spanner, set up a filter, call this whatever you want. Condition would be this and then it would equal the words. So the first one could be news. This one could be the like YouTube. So it's just whatever you want. So let's say this one is filter as YouTube. What this means is if I come here, put YouTube and just click run, it will go down this route. So you can see that there was zero because it didn't match news, but I think it did match uh, this one. So that's why it would have gone down this one. So it's really that simple. That's just how you get it to choose the email style that you want. But hopefully you found this video valuable and not too overwhelming. I tried to make it as simple as I can. If you enjoyed, just drop a like and subscribe. Subscribing means the absolute world and it helps me out more than you could know. And yeah, by you subscribing, I'm allowed to actually reinvest back into the channel um, because I know that you are enjoying it, right? So it acts as a way that I can create better content for you. So I'd really appreciate that. And if you want all of my mix.com automations, feel free to join the community. It's about a hundred bucks, but you obviously save all the time creating all of these workflows that you wouldn't have to do. And you obviously get free high level and you get other scripts and just amazing community of killers. So I would highly recommend that if you are serious about leveraging AI, but without further ado, yeah, this brings us to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one and I'll put some videos up here that you can watch as well. Take it easy.